Eric wasn't kidding. He really did light a fire under you. You should have seen him when he came after me, Logan. I just about took his head off. I can't believe it was all an act. Well, he had to provoke me. That was the only way to accept his challenge. Are you serious about this? Competing with your own father? He wants to do it. And you don't think it's too soon? No, I don't. In fact, it feels great. Hmm. Well, it must, because I haven't seen you this focused and this energized in a long time. I feel like I can breathe again. It's been hard, Logan. Everything I can do to just keep my head above water. Now death shows me this lifeline, it's something to hold on to. Everybody needs that kind of distraction. Yeah, I don't need to figure out the rest of my life right now. I just have to look forward to Portofino. And you are looking forward to it, aren't you? You bet I am. It's going to be great. The kids are going to love it. So where are they? Upstairs watching a video. Where's Hope? Oh, Hope spending the evening with Stephanie. Two of you patch things up? Your mother is not going to let anything interfere with her relationship with Hope. Not even if she lost faith in me. You're obviously not letting it get to you. How could you tell? Because you're here. <laughs> I am here. But not for long. I have to go meet Megan for a drink. I just stopped by to say hi. Unless, of course, you need me to stick around. No. You go ahead. You sure? I don't mind. No. You go out and have a great time. I've got a lot of work to do. I'll be fine. Okay. Just don't work too hard. Right. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right. Sorry about that. I didn't think that meeting was going to take so long. Oh, it's okay. You know, I've just been cleaning up. Yeah, you haven't been in here for a while, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, after your mom offered Rich that job, I wasn't sure I was coming back at all. <laughs> you were nervous? A little. You know, with Taylor gone and everything that the family's been going through, it just didn't seem right to make a big deal about it. You know, Amber, if it really bothered you, you just should have said something. Nothing really bothers me anymore. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into the Ambrosia line, and I really love my job. I, I mean, I love being here. But even if I lost it, I would still have you and Eric, and that's all that really matters to me. So you're not upset that Dad and Ridge are going to be competing in Portofino? Oh, I think it's great. Yeah, Stephanie says they're both really into it. Well, what about your mom? What about her? Well, I know she was really eager to lure Ridge back to Forrester. Isn't this whole challenge going to put a major kink in her plans? Where you've been. I stopped by to see Rich. What happened? Brooke, you're beaming. What is going on with you two? Why would my mom be upset about this competition? Amber, 
this is going to be great for the company. We couldn't buy the kind of press that this event is going to generate. No, I know. It's, it's going to be huge. I mean, your dad and Bridge will be on the cover of every fashion mag in the country. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. I just don't think that's what your mom was after when she offered Bridge's old job back. Of course not. I mean, she, she didn't want press. She was doing something good for the family. What? I think there's a little more to it than that. Yes, there is. He's got a contract with Massimo. He's got a major shareholding inspector. He's not just going to walk away from that. I'm not talking about business, Rick. I'm talking about her feelings for him. <sighs> Amber, we've already been through this. I know. I know you don't like what people are saying about your mom, and neither do I, but I can't ignore the timing. She's worried about him. Okay, she asked Ridge to come back to the company so he could be closer to his family. And so she could be closer to him? <sighs> My mother has made a lot of mistakes in the past, especially when it comes down to Ridge. But she's in a really good place right now. Yeah. She has been in a much better mood. Lately. Yes, yes, she has. And I think a lot of that has to do with Ridge. But she's not interested in him? They're friends. You no, know, it wasn't that long ago that she was completely obsessed with him. She loves him, Amber. She's been in love with him since the day they met. But she's not going to do anything inappropriate. She knows that Ridge is grieving. But Ridge isn't going to mourn Taylor forever. Look, I'm not saying that it can't happen for them. But if it does, it's going to take a really long time. My mom is not going to rush into anything. She's not going to rush into a relationship? Rick, this is your mother we're talking about here. practically floated into the restaurant. <laughs> well, I had a good day. Okay, you saw Ridge. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't have anything to do with this huge grin that you have on your face. He's doing great. He's drawing again. He's working on his new collection? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. He let you see it? No. He and Eric are keeping their drawings under wraps. But he has his energy and his enthusiasm and vitality. It's all coming back. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does Trisha think about that? Trisha? Well, I mean, does she think that this competition is good for Ridge? I don't know. He obviously didn't feel that he needed to get her opinion on it. You know she's staying in town. Yes, I heard. That doesn't bother you? Well, she can badmouth me all she wants. But it's not going to affect Ridge, and it's certainly not going to affect me. Look, I'm really proud of you. You were really feeling good about yourself these days. Yes, I am. You should. You know, you have been through a lot this year. It hasn't been easy. And then trying to deal with Taylor's loss, that's made it even more difficult. But it's given me a chance to really see how I've changed. I know who I am. And I know what's important to me. And I'm not going to be afraid to stand up for it. You were talking about Stephanie. Yes, she thinks I'm falling back in the same old pattern. But I'm not. I'm different now, I know that. Ridge even sees it. You've discussed it? Yes. There's nothing really that we have to hide from each other. We talk about everything. It's really incredible. After all this time, after all these years and everything we've been through, we're really starting to connect again. under control up there? It is now. What are the kids doing? You don't want to know. Oh. Mm. It's okay. Everyone's still in one piece. I knew it was far too quiet up there. <laughs> I'm just glad I came back when I did. Yeah, I should say. You know, I just had a visitor. Oh, really? Yeah. Just missed your mom. She was checking up on me. What is it with you two? Me and Mom? Yeah, I mean, I uh, know you guys had some problems after your divorce. 
Is that what she told you? I thought you guys had worked through it. Yeah, we are. There's still some tension there? Look, my mom used to drive me crazy. In fact, she still does. So if you ever want to just vent. I don't. I don't. I'm just trying to put it behind me. So is mom. It's not going to do either of you any good to sweep it under the rug, you know? You got to get it out. I can't. Okay? Not with you. Bridget. Because I have some problems too. Look, everybody's got problems. Bridget, please, please, it's over. It's in the past. All right. Just trying to help. Thank you. That's really sweet of you, but talking about this is not going to help me. So please just leave it alone. So you and Rich are connecting again? As just friends. Look, I know what Stephanie says about me and my interest in Rich, but it's not true. I am not going after him, and I'm certainly not looking to replace Taylor. So your feelings for him are completely platonic. You don't think there's, I don't know, any chance that you guys might get together again sometime? Well, now you're asking me to predict the future, and I really can't do that. But you're not ruling it out. I can't live my life for some day. If there's anything I've learned through this whole experience, is that I have to find satisfaction in what's happening at the very moment. Can I get you anything else, ladies? No, we're fine. Good work, buddy. That's it. You've had enough. Besides, you can't be smooth in your city ordinance. Fine. One more drink. What is happening right now? Ridge is healing. So am I. We're good for each other. You know, I actually made Ridge laugh the other day. Brooke, you and Ridge have always had an amazing rapport together. We can communicate quite well, actually, and Stephanie doesn't think so. She says that our relationship is negative dangerous, when really it's not. It's very unique and very positive. I know Ridge better than anybody, and there's nothing that he has to hide from me, and there's certainly nothing that I hold back from him. We can be completely honest with each other. Wait a second, Brooke. You didn't tell him about Hope, did you? You did not tell him that you had Deacon's baby. Oh, my God, no, no. He doesn't have to know that. Nobody does. Now, that was in the past. And like I told you, I am focused on the present. My affair with Deacon, that is ancient history. <sighs> My mom is not after Ridge. Look, I'm not slamming her, Rick. But you're questioning her motives. No, I'm just asking, what if? You know, Brooke is single, Ridge is single. Ridge isn't going to think of himself as single for a very, very long time. He's not thinking about dating. He's, he's focused on his children and his career, and so is Mom. All she's thinking about is Hope and her job. Looking after Ridge? Everybody is looking after Ridge. Dad, Stephanie, Bridget. But they're not in love with him. Or kiss. She's not going to act on that. The woman just survived a life-and-death situation. So what? So that kind of experience changes you, Rick. I know, I went through it too. You know, and all I could think about was you and Eric, and I didn't, I didn't care what I had to do, I just had to get you back. And once I did, I didn't want to waste one more moment apart. What if your mom feels the same way? She says she's just concerned about him. Maybe you're right. You know, maybe they are just friends. But let me tell you something. If she does want a future with Rich, I don't see anything out there that's gonna stop it. Ridge? Yeah? I made your coffee. Uh, you must have been reading my mind. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Oh, lovely. Mm. <clears throat> I have to apologize. Mm. It's my fault. I shouldn't have pushed that hard. I overreacted. It's a touchy subject, and I should have known that. No, still, I shouldn't have snapped at you. You were just trying to help. Yeah, trying and failing miserably, I must say. <laughs> well, I do appreciate the effort. But you're not obligated to straighten out my life for me. And you're not little Bridget anymore, I know that. Exactly. I am an adult. And so is my mother. You know, we've grown a lot in the last year. And I see so much good in her. I see how good she's been for you. I honestly think this time that she's, she's finally learned from her mistakes and she's trying to move beyond them. So I, I don't see the point in dredging them up again. It's just a part of my life I would rather forget about. I'm sure my mother would too. Are you sure you can't stay? I'd love to, but I have an early meeting in the morning. Eric wants to get a jump start on the plans for Portofino. Look, you know I wasn't trying to give you the third degree about Rich. It's just that everybody has been so down lately and you showed up on such a high. I'm just feeling really good about myself. I know, but I didn't need to attribute that to Ridge. I mean, my gosh, you don't need a man in your life to give you self-confidence. No, but I did. Everything I did revolved around a man. Everything, every choice I made, every horrendous mistake. There was always a man behind it, but not now. I'm not reaching out to Ridge because I need him to make me feel sexy or beautiful or smart. I'm reaching out to him because he needs me and it's the right thing to do. He needs some support. No, you don't have to convince me. Yeah. I don't have to convince anybody. And I don't need Stephanie's approval. I know I've changed. I can feel it. Every time I look at Hope and she smiles at me. Every minute I spend with Bridget. I don't need to cut myself off from Rich just to prove it. Good for you. Yes, it is. And someday Stephanie will realize that it would be good for Rich too. Well, Brooke, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. Oh, well, don't worry. I'm in such a good mood. I'm not going to let anything spoil it. <laughs> Hey, where are you parked? I'll walk you out. Actually, I have to go to the ladies' room, so I'll just see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks again. That was fun. All right. Bye. Daddy's back. <laughs>